Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding If you really like my teaching and my efforts please press the like button share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates In this video I want to discuss about various timers in TCP protocol Let me discuss what are the various timers are there then I will discuss each one in detail so that I request everyone to watch the complete video to learn the concept in a better way okay so we have various timers in TCP okay one is that we have persistent timer first let me list out them then i will discuss each one we have a persistent timer we have keep alive timer and we have time wait timer we have acknowledgement timer and we have time out timer so these are the five types of timers will is available in the transmission control protocol first let me discuss each one in detail what is a persistent timer persistent timer is that when it will be useful is i have a sender and i have a receiver okay now sender and receiver has done the connection establishment because tcp protocol is connection oriented protocol so if you want to transfer any data then first you need to establish the connection then you need to transfer the data then you have to close the connection okay so let's take that you have established the connection and you have transferred some data okay you have transferred the data and this is for connection establishment okay just i'm taking an example and whatever the data you have transferred the buffer is full is it clear the buffer is full at the receiver and the buffer is not processing then what the receiver will send it will send a advertisement window size is zero meaning is that i cannot further receive the information because my whatever the buffer i have allocated for you it is full when it will be again free once the receiver process this information which is there in the buffer then the buffer will be empty am i right or wrong so then what this sender has to do once it receives the advertisement zero if it does not transfer the data then the efficiency of the network will decrease because advertisement zero meaning is that receiver cannot able to receive the information if sender sends the information also the packets will be or the segments will be dropped because the buffer is not empty so then what the sender will do is that he will wait for a some amount of time that time we will call it as a persistent time okay you will wait for a some persistent amount of time and once it is expired you will send a probe packet you will send a probe packet meaning is it you mean sender will send a probe packet consists of one byte of data one byte of data suppose let's take that here it sends that 0 to 399 bytes of data okay so all the 1000 bytes of data is there in the receiver now what it will send it will send the 1000th byte of data after the persistent timer then what the receiver will do it will neglect that because the buffer is full again it will send a advertisement zero are you able to understand again it will send a advertisement zero then again what the sender will do it will keep on trying it will wait for again persistent amount of time again it will send a probe packet so this time we will call it as a persistent timer is it clear so i hope you have understood what is a persistent timer and what is the purpose of it now let me discuss what is the keep alive timer where it will be useful 
Now let's take that there is a server is there and client is there. Client and server has established a connection to transfer the data. Okay. Client and server has established the TCP connection to transfer the data. Okay. They have transferred the data. After some time, client is not responding. Client has to keep on transferring the data and sender will respond it. Once the complete data transfer is completed, the TCP will, will the connection termination phase will happen between the client and server by each other and the connection will be terminated. Am I right or wrong? So, what is happening is that the client is not responding. So, then we have a keep alive timer. Then what is meaning is that the client, the server will wait for some amount of time. If it is, there is no data or there is no response from the client, then it will send some continuous 10 probe signals. Continuously it will send 10 probe signals. If it get a response from the client, the, uh, the connection will be continued. Otherwise, the connection will be terminated. Are you able to understand it or not? There is a client is there and there is a server. They have established the connection and they have transferred the data. And after some time, client is not responding. Then what the server will do, it will wait for a some amount of time. That time we will call it as a keep alive timer. Is it clear? It will set a some time. Once it expires or once it becomes zero, then it will send some 10 probe signals. If the client responds to any of the probe signal, okay. Otherwise, it will terminate the condition because why this ideal connection should be there? If these ideal connections are there, the server could not able to respond to the other clients. So, server duty is to terminate this ideal connection. So, keep alive timer is useful to terminate the ideal connections. Okay, not only from the client and server, between two nodes or two devices have established the TCP connection and one is not responding, it can happen. Okay, so I hope you have understood about the persistent timer and keep alive timer. Now we will discuss about time wait timer. Now let's take that there is a sender and there is a receiver is there. Okay, they have established the TCP connection. They have to data transfer is done okay now last segment will be transferred between these two am i right or wrong now last segment when it is transferred obviously acknowledgement also will be transferred so let's take that b has transferred the data to a and then a will respond with a acknowledgement after that it does not want to transfer any data so are you able to understand connection establishment is done and A and B has exchanged the data and let's say that B has sent the last segment and A does not have any data, then it will send an acknowledgement. Now, once this acknowledgement is done, then what you will do? A and B does not have any data, they will go for the connection termination. Am I right or wrong? But what you have to do, you have sent the last acknowledgement, then after sending the last acknowledgement, you have to wait for some time. That time we will call it as time wait time. Are you able to understand? You will wait for some amount of time which is called as time wait time. Okay, which will be settled by the time wait timer, which is equal to twice the TTL. TTL is time to live value in a packet. So twice the time to live value you will wait. Okay, and then you will terminate the condition not condition, connection. Are you able to understand? Let me discuss again. A and B is there. They have established the connection and they have transferred the data and at the last acknowledgement, once you are done, then A and B want to go for the connection termination. Before going for the connection termination, A and B has to wait for some amount of time. That time we will call it as a time wait timer, which is equal to twice the what is this time to live value am i right or wrong ttl so once it is done then only a and b will go for the connection termination then you can ask me why you are doing it let me discuss why we are 
waiting for a time or timer because let's take that a and b okay a and b have exchanged the data let's take that x is the source port and 80 is the destination port a is keep on sending the data here b is not sending the data let's take an example even the tcp is a full duplex a is only sending the data okay now once at the last b will send an acknowledgement am i right or wrong okay suppose let's take that somewhere what happened is that you have sent the segment one acknowledgement came segment two you send the segment two from a to b however the acknowledgement has not delivered am i right so what the a will do it will wait for a time or timer am i right or wrong when i was discussing the flow control mechanism in the tcp i said once the sender sends the segment it will wait for a time or timer once the acknowledgement comes within the time then it will send the next segment otherwise it will wait for a time or timer and re-transfer the same segment suppose let's take that the acknowledgement is not lost it is not came within the time or timer are you able to understand then again what it will do it will send the again the segment and then acknowledgement is came now let's take that both of them does not wait for the time or timer and terminated the connection are you able to understand both of them terminated the condition sorry connection i am getting it as condition but it is a connection okay tcp connection now they close the tcp connection and again they want to open it after just some amount of time let's take that and it got the random source port number as x and it want to use the http protocol so destination port number is 80 now when it has sent the next segment this acknowledgement may come am i right whatever the acknowledgement it was delayed here there is a chance that it can come then source will think that this is the acknowledgement for this segment so that confusion may happen am i right to avoid that confusion once you send the last segment you lost segment and lost acknowledgement you wait for a time of wait timer which is equal to twice the ttl value is it clear then only you will terminate the connection okay so i hope you have understood about the time wait timer now let me discuss about the acknowledgement timer what is the acknowledgement timer when i was discussing about the flow control i said that flow control in tcp i have discussed that tcp uses the cumulative acknowledgement am i right or wrong what is meant by cumulative acknowledgement for a some segments for some segments you can send a single acknowledgement if you send a single acknowledgement meaning is that the receiver is accepting that i have received all the segments once the sender comes to know this acknowledgement then it can understand that whatever the segments i have sent such as s1 s2 s3 has been received by the receiver successfully are you able to understand so once the first segment is received you will set a time acknowledgement timer okay so whatever the segments came within the time for those all segments you will send a single acknowledgement are you able to understand is it clear so once you receive the first segment you will set the acknowledgement timer once it becomes zero what are the segments it has been delivered for all the segments you will send a single acknowledgement but this acknowledgement timer should not be very high and it should not be very less meaning is that if it is too high then what will happen the timeout timer of this segment s1 may be expires before you are sending the acknowledgement then the retransmissions will increase so you should select the acknowledgement timer such a way that it should not be too high and if it is too low then it will act as an independent acknowledgement because for only one segment if you are sending an acknowledgement then it will act as an independent acknowledgement i hope you have understood what is an acknowledgement timer now coming to the timeout timer now what is the timeout timer we are keep on discussing that 
sender once it sends a segment it will wait for some amount of time which is called as a timeout timer if the acknowledgement receives within the time it is okay if the acknowledgement does not receive within the time then what the sender will do it will retransfer the same segment am i right or wrong so this time we will call it as timeout timer when i was discussing about the flow control mechanisms in data link layer we said that timeout timer is equal to 2 into round trip time am i right or wrong which is round trip time is equal to 2 into transmission delay which is equal to not transmission delay propagation delay sorry for it 2 into propagation delay which is equal to d by v am i right because we know that data link layer works from hop to hop are you able to understand the suppose let's take that i have a source i have a router r1 i have a router r2 and the destination is there that even if the data is transferring from sender to destination the data link layer worry about whether the data is successfully delivered from sender to router r1 then from router r1 to router r2 it was delivered or not router r1 to destination it is delivered or not so data link layer will worry about the hop to hop communication so between the router r1 and r2 we know the distance so if you know the distance and you know the propagation speed you can calculate the propagation delay okay then you can calculate the total timeout which is equal to 4 into propagation delay because 2 into round trip time is the timeout timer round trip time is equal to 2 into propagation delay where propagation delay is equal to d by v but when it comes to the transport layer it is end to end communication so if it is end to end communication source to dis destination you need to know the distance are you able to understand because if it is a data link layer source to router r1 distance only we have to worry but when it comes to the transport layer it is a port to port communication or end to end communication am i right or wrong so you need to know the distance between source and the destination this is quite difficult am i right so we cannot keep a constant timeout timer in the tcp protocol is it clear if you keep the constant timeout then you will face lot of problems because let's take that you have kept a timeout timer this much you have sent a segment and you kept a constant timeout and the acknowledgement is not delivered means acknowledgement is delivered after some time but your timeout is expired before the acknowledgement is delivered because of conjunction the acknowledgement is delivered so then what you are doing again you are sending the same segment and again you are waiting here also the acknowledgement is coming is delivering but after the timeout timer again it is resending the same segment in this case the traffic will increase and also the segments the sender is not thinking that the acknowledgement is came are you able to understand so we should go for the dynamic timeout timer okay we have two algorithms coming to the timeout timer computation one is the basic algorithm and another one is the jacobson algorithm okay so in the next video i will discuss about the basic algorithm with few examples then i will discuss about the jacobson algorithm i hope you have understood various tcp timers still if you have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day